Hey Darrell, a lot of people have not been up to the reservoir. What should they know? Okay, this reservoir was built in 1909. Oh. It was built to uh, uh, irrigate the sugar cane. When the in sugar industry grew, uh, they made it bigger. Okay, Kent, uh, once we get to this wall area, we're gonna be fishing worms. And what, you wanna, what, what I want you to do is put, it, put that bait right up against that rocks. Let it drop. Once you're three feet away from the bank, just reel it in real quick, make another cast. Normally they'll hit on the fall. So we're targeting bass. Largemouth bass, yeah. Good. This little spot right here, this pocket right here, yeah. I usually get something. There we go. We got one. Kind of far. Yeah, you need the net? I think I got it. Oh, nice one, Daryl. That, this is a largemouth bass, about a pound and a half, caught on a soft craw. Time to let them go. Hopefully it grows to five pounds. Hey Daryl, right on, man. Five. Right. No donuts tonight. <laughs> I gotta catch one. You gotta get one. You gotta get, get one. one. I'll get one. Just keep plugging away. This type of fishing right here is called um, finesse fishing. And uh, we call it pitching. So what we do is we just put uh, a line, almost in line with your spinner, put it on your left hand, and all we do is we just, we just pitching it in right there like this. And it creates a, um, a quieter approach when it hits the water. There we go, there we go. I got another one. He called it. Another large mouth. Okay, you see this lar the large mouth you see this lateral line right here? This is what they call a lateral line. That's what they sense vibration. That's their hearing mechanism. And this is um, what they call a Florida strain. Uh, I'm sorry, a northern strain largemouth. So like a five, six pound largemouth, northern strain largemouth, it's a, a 10 to 15 year old fish. This is uh, the lure that we used. It's called a, a bug or a beaver. Some people call it a craw. Oh! There you go, he has a fish. Hanapa. Got him on the wacky worm. Hey, what is the scoreboard? Okay, time to let him go. Thank goodness for trolling motors, huh? So that is a good stretch right here, this little buffalo grass area. Oh, heard something over there. Got another one. Oh, it's a good one, this one. All right. Come up. Oh, nice one. Oh, nice one. A little bigger one. Yeah, net job? Yeah, maybe you got the net this time. A couple pounder this one. No, oh, he's not ready. There we go. <sighs> nice one. <laughs> Bigger girt there. I'm starting to hear the zip liners. Okay, that zip line structure right there that's the landing area and it'll go all the way up to that mountain top right over there and as of now this is the longest um, zip line on this in the state of Hawaii zip lining huh, we need to take a break and check this out Derek Green how you doing good Ben yourself good good we came by to do some fishing but I heard that things like 
zip lining like right over there is happening around here. Everybody's latest and greatest adventure tour is happening right there. Tell us about the zip line. Oh, Kaloa zip line is incredible. It, it centers around the Whitehall Reservoir. We've got eight zip lines that range in length from 240 feet to over half a mile long. That's amazing. Now, if I want to bring the family up here, and how much, how big of the day do I have to put aside for this? Well, it's a three and a half hour tour for sure, especially when we have 12 people, which is our max for our tours. Now, there's a lot of zip line companies in the islands over here. What makes yours different than the others? A few things. Uh, seven year olds are able to zip line with us because we've, we've perfected the tandem. That's where we take two riders together, they get to fly together along the entire course. So, dad and his son or dad and his daughter can ride together? Absolutely. That's actually how we got started. I brought my daughter out here and she had the time of her life. Another thing that separates us from the rest of the tours that I know of here in Kauai and the rest of the state is that we allow our guests to go upside down. Our What's this thing about the sunset zip? Oh, the sunset zip is amazing. You start off at our base yard at 530 and you make it up to our fourth line, which is uh, 1700 feet at sunset. You zip through into the sunset and then once you get to the landing of four, the lights come on. Our headlamps come on, our course is lit up and you get to zip the rest of the evening. That's what I want to do. I'm going to come back and do that. But for now, it's time to trade in the zip line for fishing line. You know the Bass Club guys, they'll come over here. One of the first places they'll come. Challenging. Yeah. Plus, you're going to be casting into the wind. <laughs> All right. Showing both sides. Yeah. Got one? Yeah, got one. There you go. Anapa. Need a net, guy? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Thank you. Sure. Hey, number two. <laughs> Well, let's try these. Hopefully we trigger some peacock bass. Come on, peacock. There we, there we go. Oh. This must be a two canary because it's fighting hard. Yeah, peacock. There we go. Whoa. Come on. There we go. How pretty. Barely hooked. <laughs> Barely hooked, but mission accomplished. We've had a good day. Good going, guys. And for those of you visiting Kauai sometime soon, be sure you hook up with Daryl and check out the zip line.